How's it going out there, everyone? This is WFS, and I'd like to talk to you today about The Little Mermaid box office passes half a billion. But is it enough? Now, this article is coming from Screen Rant, and we're going to talk about the difficulties that The Little Mermaid has had. And is the money that it just made enough to make it a profitable film? Or is it a warning sign to Disney that maybe you should back away from your live action remakes and start making more original content? Like, for example, Elements. <clears throat> Excuse me, Elements. I understand that the movie is an original story and a lot of people are liking the film now. In its first week, it had difficulty, but in the second week, it's grown, it's gaining traction, it's got movement, and finally, it's starting to move up in the pro, in the box office numbers. So let's get into the Little Mermaid here. And before I do, before we get into the topic here, if you have not subscribed to this channel, it would be greatly appreciated if you liked the video. Click that like button and the subscribe button. Definitely would absolutely love it. And for those of you who have subscribed to the channel, thank you so much. It is appreciated from the bottom of my heart. But now let's get into The Little Mermaid. The Little Mermaid live action remake is swimming against the currents of the box office. Despite hitting a major milestone, the movie which is retelling of the iconic 1989 animated feature follows young mermaid Ariel Halle Bailey as she trades her voice to the sea witch Ursula M Melissa McCarthy in exchange for a pair of legs which will help her explore the human world although the little mermaid has sold three-day domestic opening weekend of 95.5 million and has continued to perform well, it has been sluggish in international markets. Okay, so this part of the article is coming from Collider. Per the little the Little Mermaid's box office has just passed a huge milestone worldwide. By the by the end of Sunday, the movie will have surpassed a total of 500 million. However, as it approaches what it looks like a total run of around 525 million, the movie may not end up in the black considering its costly $250 million price tag in addition to the massive publicity and advertising costs. It does cost a lot, not to mention the fact the chunk of money the movie has to get for presenting it at their theaters. The Little Mermaid's box office prospects looks especially grim when compared to the other recent remakes of Disney remastered classics. Of the 10 titles released between 1989 and 1999, Disney has already made five of them, including The Little Mermaid. While Milan had a lower box office gross, that was due to a limited international-only theatrical run comprised by the COVID-19 closure in the early 20s. The other movies, Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, and The Lion King, all grossed over a billion worldwide to the end of their respective runs at the theater. Okay, so as you see there, The Little Mermaid does have some problems. Can it get above 600 million? Can it hit the 700 million mark? Honestly, I've heard a lot of people say that the film needs to make at least 700 million to become profitable and Right now, they're $200 million away from that mark. Can it pull it off? That's a big question. The 4th of July weekend is coming up soon, and we got to wait and see what happens there. So what do you think about all this? Do you think The Little Mermaid is going to make the money it deserves to make? Do you think the movie... Did you see the movie? I haven't seen it yet. And I know there's been a lot of people complaining about the film from all the political agendas that people have argued that Disney is putting into the films. My only big agenda problem with this movie has been the Aquafina song, The Scuttlebutt. I honestly feel like that particular song takes away from the beauty of the movie. A rap song like that just, just doesn't work when you compare it to all the beautiful songs that were originally introduced to us in the 1989 version. But that's just my opinion, and I'd love to hear all yours. So tell me what you think. Drop your comments below and let me know. And until the next time, my friends, God bless.